Okay, so apparently the video cut short. Uh, it's in filters from the end, so I'm just gonna continue. Um, that was sort of a bum because I don't want to explain it again, but now I'm going to. So we just explained number 20, which was the... Uh, no wait, number 19, which was the simple movement thing, the simple um, detection of movement. Now I, I, I haven't changed anything since I looked at it. Uh, it was just <laughs> a second ago I recorded it. So the next one is uh, using the Kenny uh, line detection algorithm. It's actually a combination of several things. It's you, it's, it uses, I'm not sure if it's a Gaussian blur or Gaussian something else, but but I think it's four different things if I remember correctly. But it's uh, it's pretty good at finding lines. Uh, really really nice and one function. Uh, again, thank you OpenCV. Thank you so much. So uh, one function. These are like upper and lower threshold, and I do I not remember what the last one is. Um, the next one was the sort of cheaty one, the mirroring of the y instead of the x. Same function as uh, explained in. Well, I was I was about to say previously, but in part one, I guess yeah. Uh, now this is part two. Mm. Anyways, it's a flip function, uh, very simple, and then we copy it to the portion we're currently editing. The next one uh, applies the Laplacian kernel. Uh, Laplacian kernel is all minus one, uh, 303 kernel with only minus ones, except the middle one, which is an 8. And we apply a kernel using the filter 2D function. It takes source image, destination image, minus one having something to do with. Uh, something to do with the kernel, but I can't quite remember. Uh, and then we uh, uh, set a point minus one minus one. This is because uh, we're using like the middle one. It's it wants the top left point uh, as far as I remember, uh, or top left pixel. So since we're using a three by three, uh, compared to our focus of the kernel being the middle, the the top left would be minus one minus one and border default i'm not entirely sure what the default uh, border behavior is maybe if we're a little bit laggy we can oh wrong one we can see it does it skip does it i don't know i don't know what the default does doesn't matter and then we convert it and show it the next one shifts the colors you can very easily oh well not anymore uh, it shifts the the um the red and the green, I think it is. Uh, the way we do this is by having three uh, matrices, one for each uh, channel, red, green, blue channel, or blue, green, red uh, in OpenCV. Uh, then we use the function split, which splits the image into the channels. Then we um, have a temporary variable and we copy the uh, green one to that, uh, and then we copy the red uh, channel to the green one and copy the temporary back to the red one, uh, thereby switching, and then we use the merge function, merging this array of matrices, and there are three, into this uh, image. And then we release all the matrices. Um, the next one here, we entirely remove the red color. Uh, uh, we split it and merge it as we did before, but instead now with the number three uh, channel, we um, we just m uh, assign it to a new uh, matrix uh, full of zeros, so uh, an empty matri matrix, so to speak, um, and that effectively removes the color. The next one is rotating one color channel. Now we're using again the exact same code as uh, for rotation as uh, up here. Um, but this time only on one channel, so we split them into channels, we use our uh, rotation matrix for a fine transmission as we did previously, and then we merge them as we also just did. So uh, exact the ex exactly the same as uh, the other color, uh, uh, color examples, and then the rotation up here. Next one is sort of an attempt to make an old-school 3D look. Uh, it's just basically a translation, uh, not verbal translation, but movement of the red channel to the left, uh, giving like this very nice uh, old-school 3D effect thingy. Uh, now this is done in a rather odd way, which 
probably resulted in me not entirely understanding their matrix assignment. It was especially on the GPU matrix, but I figured it out in the end. Now for translation, what I did this is pretty much from the OpenCV example where they <laughs> actually don't do translation but all the other things um, but what you're doing is you're having two triangles each consisting uh, basically a triangle is just three, po three points right uh, and then uh, you can get an affine transform meaning like the changes between these two triangles right which in this case only is a translation, it's only a movement to the left. Uh, so it's minus 10 on x here, minus 10 on x here, and minus 10 on x here. So it's just translated 10 to the left. Uh, then we split it into channels, we apply the transformation to the red channel, uh, uh, in so it ends up in, in a temporary, copy it back, and then we merge, uh, uh, and then we show it. So that's the old school 3D. The next two are period kernels. Period, period, period. I don't know how you properly pronounce it. Period kernels. The one is a horizontal. This one is a horizontal one. Or this is a vertical one. Uh, oh, it just did some weird. Oh well. So here we create a kernel. It's just a matrix. And no, this cannot be created on the GPU. It doesn't matter that much, though. Um, so prude kernel is just minus ones on one side and uh, zeros in the middle and ones on the other side. Oh, I just got a little close to the mic there. I felt sorry about that. Uh, now this one uh, has minus ones along the x-axis. Uh, that's a horizontal. So we have, uh, if I use this as example, minus ones, zeros, and ones. Right. We initialize the kernel with ones. And then we use the filter 2D function. Oops. The filter 2D function, which applies a, a kernel, basically. A uh, very nice function. So you take the input, uh, and I'm using grayscale because I think it only works with grayscale, but I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sort of sure that it only works with grayscale, actually. Um, and then we're going to put it to the temp, minus one. Wait, didn't I? Am I getting tired? Didn't I just explain filter 2D? Oh, wait. No, not in this. That must have been in part one. Oh god. Anyway, so I don't entirely know what this minus one does. And then we use the kernel, and... Wait, I did explain this. We had the Laplacian kernel. Yeah, I did explain this. I'm getting all confused now. So we apply the filter, and we convert back to uh, three channels. Uh, and this is exactly the same, uh, although the kernel is not like this. The kernel is like... Uh, Okay, yeah, it's it's ours, it's vertical instead. You understand those words. <laughs> um, the next one uh, on the line is a sharpen. We're using a kernel for sharpening, which is minus ones on the four uh, four sides, top down, left, right, and then a five in the middle, zero on the corners. And we use the filter function again. And the last one is uh, an emboss kernel. I don't know if it's called an emboss kernel, but it, it's an emboss effect, uh, which is just another kernel, basically, with a minus two uh, in top left corner, and then minus one and minus one to the right and to the bottom of that. Then we have in the middle and um, top middle and left middle, uh, we have ones, and in the... Wait, no wait, that's that's the Y middle and the bottom middle and the bottom right uh, as a two. Uh, and then we just apply the filter function again. So I, I think I got through all the images now and it's running relatively smooth uh, because of the GPU I'm assuming. Um, it could have been done a lot more efficiently. Now some of the videos are just like uh, laggy that has nothing to do with me or my code. Um, but I suppose it could be, you know, uh, made a lot more efficient um, if you actually tried, but I, I wasn't really aiming for that. I was just trying to look at how much I could actually do with the GPU, right? Uh, so, so yeah, that was uh, my explanation of my 30 filters. Uh, and 
I hope it was interesting and stuff. Uh, and I'm sorry that it was in two parts, and I'm sorry for uh, heavy breathing or whatnot. Um, this actually looks very good with, with purple. Yeah, how about that? Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Bye.